SFRM GL are gun inspired by the SCAR H is very similar to the AK-24 in regards to the time to kill and the bullets to kill, making it a viable weapon on the battlefield. In this video, I'm going to go over my go-to attachments for the SFAR, but also what's in my plus system to help you guys adapt to different situations on the battlefield. Also, if you want to skip ahead, there are timestamps down below in the description. Let's get into it. So for the sights, I use two. I use the Fusion Hollow as it's a very clean sight and a six times scope when tap firing at longer ranges. For the ammunition, I use the standard rounds. As with this, you have the potential to four shot enemies up to five meters. Beyond that, the gun is a five shot kill up to 50 meters. I also use the high power drum mag as an ammo reserve. This is good, but it causes the gun to be a five shot kill at all ranges, making it more ideal at engagements beyond 50 meters. I also use the grenade launcher for the under barrel, mainly against vehicles, and I also use the incendiary grenade launcher to flush out groups of enemies and campers. Also, to use the grenade launcher on console, just press down on the d-pad when you're not aiming down sight. And next, on the barrel, I use the tactical compensator to mitigate a bit of that horizontal recoil. In addition to that, I use the suppressor when I'm flanking behind enemy lines. Now, with the standard rounds, the SFAR has the same time to kill and bullets to kill as the AK-24 at all ranges. Strangely enough, the fire rate is also the same too. Also, with standard rounds, the AK-24 using the drum mag can hold up to 20 more bullets than the SFAR, giving the AK-24 an advantage. Another advantage of the AK-24 is that it has much easier recoil to manage, making the AK-24 the overall better weapon. I've also made a gun guide in the AK-24 demonstrating the best attachments for that weapon as well, so if you want to, check that out as well. So, those are the best attachments for the SFAR in Battlefield 2042. If you've enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like down below. If you want to see more gun guides for Battlefield 2042, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If there are any other guns you'd like me to cover in this gun guide series, tell me down in the comment section below. But before I go, I'm going to give a shout out to my newest subscribers. Thank you to Andy Reigler, Mr. Geo for Real and Jyproc. Have a great day guys, au revoir.